and I believe that they uh, had hinted at lowering it to a number, but uh, uh, we can't really obtain the savings that we're trying to obtain without, uh, uh, you know, by maintaining that uh, currently s the 70-30 that we have. And that's the, that's the main issue. And, uh, the hands are tied associated with offering some other incentives associated with adopting that because of evidently some regulations that are written into the GIC as it currently stands, uh, you know, including the 70 percent vote that's required. So that may change. We've been it's been hinted that some of that will change after the first of the year. When the legislature has to deal with the state budget. Just quickly, uh, in the last meeting last week, Steve, you had mentioned that um, the, there may not be any savings going to the GIC because everyone would have to go almost to an HMO for us to get the benefits versus I, uh, no, I, I, uh, no, I don't. I, I, I don't. Pretty mentioned. I, I, you know, I, there's a possibility of that, right? But the, the, the main sticking point is associated with the, what they wanted in return for Go, uh, you know, accepting the program. But that aside, I mean, when you think about going forward, if, if you want to go forward, let's say by some miracle they decide to, uh, okay, let's just let's just join the GIC. But if we don't go on what Mr. O'Leary had mentioned, uh, that we, in order to receive benefits, they pretty much will, everybody would have to go to an HMO versus the proprietor. But yeah, keep in mind that they pay a percentage, too. So it's an impact on the employee. They pay 30 percent. We pay 70 percent under the current rules, right? So uh, if they elect to uh, go to a higher program, uh, they're paying a higher amount too. So I mean, there's some check and balance associated <coughs> with that. Yeah. They, they have more opportunities. The, you know, under the GIC, the number of different programs and the selections, you know, under the, the category that we'd be dealing with, allowed for. Uh, there were several plans that w were more costly, as Steve, I think, had pointed out, than uh, what we uh, under our current plan. That th that being said, didn't mean that everyone was going to elect that plan. No, I I, you know. I understand that. So there was the some risk. Let's that put that it this way: there was some risk involved associated with that. But that's not why it's off the table at this point. It's off the table because we couldn't come to some basic agreement and there's a December 1st deadline again. And there's a 70% you know, uh, requirement for this coalition bargaining and uh, it's not there. You know, the votes aren't there. So. Matter of fact, for the people who were present, there was a unanimity on their side. Yeah. I think I think it's best that we don't reveal our strategy at this point associated with dealing with it. There is a strategy. It's clear it's clear that we need we cannot afford to continue uh, with that amount in our right now if you look at the uh, the numbers for 2010, right? Yeah. If you take your revenue and you look at what we're anticipating in revenue shortages, and you subtract out, and remember debt st stabilization means that debt doesn't go up. Right. You take the estimate of the insurance increase, right? the uh, increase we can have no control over, which is the county retirement. Right? You take those numbers, and what's left is zero to apply to the town and school budgets. That's where we are at this very moment. Now, there's some things that can change, right? The state aid is uh, currently budgeted at minus 5%, which was at the advice of our representatives. Now, that may be the worst case number. But, you know, when you look at the numbers uh, right now, uh, uh, you know, we have a big problem in front of us, and uh, insurance is a big piece of it. And we did convey to the union representatives that uh, the only way that we can as people, positions. So, if we, if we maintain the, the current, current plan, current split, uh, 
um, it's people. Mean my ass. Oh. So they've been made aware of it. Have you gotten any feedback from Mr. Jones with respect to the, his assessment of the likeliness of any willingness on the legislature's part to remove the or amend the collective bargaining requirement? The, the only thing I've heard is that the uh, uh, the number will probably get dropped down to 50%, 50 percent plus, plus one. Well, That's when it. I, I, I was thinking of my work. Uh, when I got to take a look at some of the governor's priorities, it was very close to the top for January. So. Yeah, the, the feeling is that state aid is going to get cut for 2009 <coughs> in the process they're going to have to give us some flexibility somewhere else to make up for what they take away but you know, it remains to be seen you know, we don't know but the vibes from people that are connected seem to be headed in that direction yeah. and I, I have brought to the attention of our <coughs> state senator the this other issue that we talked about where, where hands are tied with respect to trying to deal with some of the issues the union had raised associated with the GIC. Anyway, uh, can we move on? Where were we? It was, I didn't have any. Your turn. Have any. My turn? Yeah. My turn? Okay, well, I'll, um, I'll be very brief. <laughs> um, I want to thank everyone who attended the Veterans Day celebration on the Common. Uh, the weather was nice. And uh, it just seems every year we get more and more people there. And, and the young man from, I believe he was from the high school, who sang God yes. Bless America, did outstanding job. I mean, he should be on that show, an American <laughs> Idol. I mean, he was just fantastic. What a voice on that young man. Um, it, was very, it was a very nice young man. Uh, the next thing, and I've already spoken to the transcript about this because I'm sure there's not many people up watching us right now, but you may catch it on Thursday if you watch our reruns. Uh, that, that, this is a town issue in a way, but it's, a, it's more of a people issue. The registry is no longer mailing out renewal forms for your licenses. You will not get a renewal notice in the mail, a reminder. I ran into this. I confirmed it today when I went over to the registry. I understand there's also quite a list that they've decided not to mail out renewals. I don't have it. I'll try to get it. But I do know if your driver's license is about to run out, you're not going to get the old renewal card you got in the mail. Um, the good news is you can renew it within a year. In other words, if your license runs out June 5th of 09, you can go right now and renew it any time up to a year before the ex expiration date. But that could be very important to people because you ask most people when their license runs out, and they, they don't know. So just, just, just a little FYI for the whole town. Thank you. Thank you. John. Not, not the hour is late. I'll keep it short. I, I would just like to receive a, an update on the wastewater project at the next meeting, where it stands, has plan been modified, where, where are we going with it? <coughs> and one thing I forgot about, Mr. Chairman, um, the local telephone book, you know, you know it's a little fat book, uh, they have a list, they, they give it out to a lot of the seniors in town, and they have a list of emergency numbers in town, and they have the wrong number for the fire department. <laughs> it's a... Uh, uh, the, the chief has gotten a couple of phone calls that. How'd they get through? Um, well, <laughs> the number they have listed is the is actually goes directly to the chief's office, and I guess he came back on he came back on Monday to a uh, to an emergency call on his voicemail. So uh, the actual number is three one one two, not fifty four hundred. So anybody watching this, it's three one one two if you don't want to use nine one one. So that's that. How about Thank that? you, Mike. <laughs> I, I uh, just would uh, like to thank uh, the uh, members of the uh, Fiscal Advisory Committee for, for their efforts. And, uh, in spite of the fact that uh, you know, your recommendation was voted down and I was one of the members voting down, I, please don't be discouraged by it. There are uh, tremendous opportunities that you have on your list that uh, we will be supporting. <laughs> With that, uh, do we need an executive session? No. Okay. I'll entertain a motion, motion to adjourn. Adjournment. Second. Motion by Mr. Harris, second by Mr. Vino. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. 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 Aye.